What did you do with his ashes? Your mother scattered them on the lake. You weren't with her? She didn't want me there. What about his funeral? We decided not to have one. What did he do to deserve that? Were you even sad when he died? To be honest, it was a relief. We didn't have to worry anymore. What you looking at? We were so innocent back then. It was all a lie. One big, disgusting lie. Are you okay? Would you be okay if your entire life you were told something that you saw with your own eyes wasn't real? They made me doubt myself. I've, I've always doubted myself. At least now we know the truth. Do we? Because I'm having a hard time believing nobody else in this family knew about Charles. Somebody did. This is his Radley file. The girls got it. He doesn't see what happened to him. But Aunt Carol visited him. Aunt Carol? Yeah, many times. What is it? Last year, when I got hurt in that elevator and I thought Wilden was after me, I needed a place to hide out. I knew nobody was living in Aunt Carol, so I drove up. But when I arrived, someone was there. Did you ever go back? No. But I always wondered why she kept the place when no one was living there. Maybe someone was living there. Charles. <laughs> Doesn't look like anybody lives here. Maybe that's what Charles wants people to think. If he's still alive, why would he do this? To me, to us. I wish I knew. Electricity's been turned off. I don't understand why your mom would keep a smelly old house when no one's living here. It doesn't make any sense. We should check around the property before we go. Okay, I'll check out that barn. I'll go with you. 